Hey everybody, my name is Seth, and today we're gonna to be talking about some of our brand new Ray routers that we have in. And we're gonna be talking about one of them, which is a business router, and the other one, which is for mesh networks. The first router we're gonna be talking about is our RG-E5, which is our mesh router. Now, this router is Wi-Fi 6 with speeds of AX3200 on dual bands, with a total of eight omnidirectional antennas. It has a high 3,000 feet of max coverage, and 192 clients can be online at one given time. Now we do recommend up to 60, but you do still have a capability to go past that. Also with the Ray Cloud app, you can easily organize the network within minutes, making this super easy to set up. This unit also has one WAN port and four total LAN ports. And not to mention they are all one gigabyte ports as well. You can connect a variety of switches, access points, wireless bridges to this device directly. The best part in my opinion, included is a three year warranty. Now you can also use this unit as a standalone router or connect multiple of these units to create a mesh network or connect multiple access points. It's all up to you since this is a fully mesh router. When opening the box, we have the unit itself, a user manual and a warranty card. Below the unit, we have the power adapter and a standard ethernet cable included as well, all within this box itself. To quickly show you to get this device set up, the first thing you need to do is plug in the router to a modem and plug the router into power. This device will then begin to put out a signal and all you need to do after that is go ahead and download the Ray phone app and I'll walk you through from here. Now, after you've got this router all plugged in to the internet and as well as powered on, the blue light should be on on the router now. All we're gonna have to do after that is get into the phone app. So now inside of the actual phone app, once you create an account, log in, you're gonna be on the home screen. You're gonna go ahead and select add a project and select yes, connect to Wi-Fi. There's another option here for a serial code uh, to scan, which you can do as well. We have another video on that that you can check out. So I'm gonna hit yes, connect to Wi-Fi. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. And then I'm gonna hit connect. What we're gonna to wanna to do now is make sure you go ahead and go into your settings and to the Wi-Fi, turn it on, and you're gonna go ahead and look for the Ray E network that is now online, which is right here. Once it is connected, it'll pull you up with a little bit of a configure screen. You're gonna go ahead and hit configure, hit okay, and now you can start setting up the actual network. So we can create the SSID. I can go and call it a, for example, Ray E test network. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill out these required fields now. Now that we're connected up to the network, all fully set up, we can go ahead and run that speed test. And in this room, it's not the greatest location for uh, internet connection for Wi-Fi, but we are still pulling speeds off of this Ray router. Now that this router is fully set up, we have plenty of options to have a bunch of features that we can do directly on the phone app, such as flow and app control, monitoring, port configuration, and plenty more. So you can check out some of those more features that we have available. We have some videos on those as well. Now, just to give you some ideas on where this router can go, the first one is simply a residential home since it's going to be best used on a mesh network where you can connect multiple of these routers up in a larger home or maybe a couple access points to this and set up a fully mesh network. And with the omnidirectional antennas, you have a lot of options with that as well. To give you a second installation scenario, you could do somewhere like a mom and pa shop, a nice little small shop that's gonna have some visitors come in and out of it throughout the day. And maybe you set up a guest network where it allows some of these clients to fully get onto the network as well as using it for the employees within this shop as well, especially that it can cover 3,000 feet. Now we're gonna be talking about our VPN business router. This router is a 10 port gigabyte router with eight PoE plus ports designed for medium to small businesses. Now, one big key difference between this router and the previous one we looked at, the RG-E5, is that this one actually doesn't have antennas and it won't create its own Wi-Fi signal. Instead, you'll need to connect switches and access points directly to the router with these PoE Plus ports. So you might be wondering, why no antennas on this device? Well, when you're using this router in a business setting, you typically are gonna place in a spot where creating a Wi-Fi signal directly off the router isn't the top priority, like a server room or a remote corner of the building. In these cases, you're already planning on running access points from the router to strategic locations in the building. 
This setup works best when you're relying on access points for Wi-Fi coverage and letting this router's bandwidth support them rather than the router itself generating your Wi-Fi signal. Now looking at the ports on this router, it does have one dedicated WAN port, six dedicated LAN ports, and three ports where it can do either LAN or WAN. It's up to you. And all these ports are one gigabyte as well. Like I said earlier, these ports are R PoE plus as well. So you can go ahead and directly connect an access point into the router, bypassing a need for a switch. Now you still can use the switch on here and then go into an access point, but ultimately it's up to you. We do have a 300 max recommended client for this device with a total of 1.5 gigabytes of throughput with an available option to even have up to 64 VPN channels. And yet again, same with the RG-E5, the best part being it has a three year warranty. Now quickly looking inside of the box, included is the router itself of course, a user manual, a warranty card, and a power adapter and cable as well to power up this device. Now to give an installation scenario on where we can actually install this business router is simply office buildings where you're going to have to set up multiple access points and you can feed all those access points directly into the router bypassing the need for a switch. Yet again, you can still use a switch like we stated earlier, but you do have that option available. And with the limit of 300 max recommended clients, all your employees will be able to get their computers and their phones and everything on the network without any issues. And this does have a 1.5 gigabyte throughput, allowing for a lot of devices. Just to mention one more thing, if you did want to set this device up on the phone app, you're going to need to connect it to access points if you're going to use Wi-Fi. If you don't plan on using Wi-Fi to connect this device into the actual internet, you can scan the QR code on this device as well. And it's still a very quick and easy setup. To wrap this video up guys, with Ray products, we have a good router for your mesh networks, your smaller networks. We have options for your business routers and plenty of options such as switches, access points, and wireless bridges that can work directly with these routers as well. So if you want some more of these videos, go ahead and check us out. And thank you guys for watching.